Greetings guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I'm a professional intuitive empath and we're going to get right into the title. I was finishing up with clients, <clears throat> excuse me, and as I have been called and feeling very led to do lately, I've been wanting to share some collective messages because I notice collective themes whenever I work with clients and many readers say that they do, that we're all kind of working through these things in a collective consciousness. Uh, and so one of the things that, that I dealt with today that I thought would be a good uh, message for you to know is that just because whatever relationship you were in didn't work out with your DM or with your karmic soulmate or whatever doesn't mean that the great work that you thought you guys were here to do together will not be get, will not be done. Maybe you just won't do it together. Now, I highly encourage if you're on this channel, you guys know it's all about healing and evolving. So I'm not going to talk about what your DM is doing or whom they're doing it with, because that really is no longer any of your business. And I know that's hard to hear. And trust me, that's my angels coming through y'all. Because in the last year, I struggled, especially at the beginning of last year, like right when the blow up for my life or the tower in my life happened, I struggled with the idea of the ministry, not the person so much. I had all of my human emotions about the issues and the fall apart, right? But the higher self, my hermetic self or going in energy said, well, I thought we were supposed to do this amazing work. I had a client today who had a similar question, right? And a similar query. And what I've done over the last year is had great deep insight and healing into this. Uh, just because you're not with the partner doesn't mean that the work doesn't get done. And the client was asking me, she said, but I, we had this thing and they actually had a ministry. So this client that called today was actually a pastor's wife and they had a full ministry and, and the whole thing. And she was like, but we were doing such great work and I didn't understand. And this third party came in and yada, yada, y'all know the story, right? So let's fast forward through the drama. She's now grappling with, I don't want to just not let this go or him go my husband go I am worried because I felt like we had a purpose and God brought us together and we met in Bible school and all of that stuff I also happen to love that she calls because she gets it she's like oh no girl <laughs> this was all throughout the Bible I'm like yeah girl I know but um in any case <clears throat> it was a great conversation and it was very uh it was a nice like pivot for me and a nice moment of healing for me and I wanted to just share that with you is that you need to release the idea that you can't do your great work just because you're not with that person in my story in my journey specifically <clears throat> excuse me throat chakra so speaking the truth of a situation and I guess I'm telling the truth because I'm getting some hits here on that but what in my situation what I will say is that I was so sure we were going to like change the world and in the separation I realized that I still go on to do exactly what our mission was, except I was the one doing a lot of the work in the mission. And this is not a bashing session, but I want you guys to take a real look at your ministries, your missions, and the things that you thought you and your DM were going to do together. Uh, maybe they were on board. Maybe they watered and educated you too at times, but were they really as passionate about whatever this journey is as you were? And I'm not talking about the divine feminine masculine journey. I'm talking about the spiritual journey. Because if you're here, you're an empath, you're a light worker, you get that. So yes, you may have a counterpart. But whatever your spiritual work was, you had that to do. Mine is actually in healing and working with you guys and walking through heartbreaks and also evolving past them into thriving, right? I am an alchemist and I'm here to help you guys transform. You are alchemist as well. But this situation with whatever person is just a catalyst. It's merely to get you to a place where you can start to really do the work. Uh, nothing shifts with the mission just because I don't have the partner anymore. The partner, I don't know, would have been much help anyway. Uh, now that I understand the situation in full. So the mission still continues. And for some of us, you get new partners. And for some of us, you go in a hermetic way. That's my way. And I'm really just tapped into the spirituality part of the teaching. But you do not have to feel like all hope is lost because they're no longer a part of it. Um, I knew we were important. I knew we were going to change the world. I knew we were power couple-esque in our best friendship. I understood it. And 
I wasn't wrong, and neither were you empaths, just because they made a free will choice to go down their own path and their own Akashic records does not invalidate the great work that you have in front of you to do. And that's what I wanted to convey with you guys today. And it's what I conveyed to the client that I worked with today. It is okay to release the idea that that is something that would have um, coalesced in a way that really made you guys feel like your mission together on earth was bigger than the earthly connection. It was bigger than the fun and the whatever was attached to that relationship or situation. Uh, you still have a mission, empath. You still have work to do. You still have stuff to do. And I really wanted to convey that to you because... A lot of us get lost in the whole disillusion of the relationship and think that their end lies there uh, ends the mission. That is not true. The mission does not end <laughs> because the relationship ends. If anything, I will say this. I've only become more passionate about this work, about my spirituality. That relationship was there to teach me heavy, hard lessons, very Saturnian energy. I was in it for way longer y'all than I should have been uh, now that I know how shallow and empty it was on the other person's side but still I still parroted them as my masculine and divine man you know energy and all that stuff but now that you when, girl listen this is what I told my client too when you guys get away from this and you get from under the pull and the fog and whatever is keeping you whether it's emotional sex or actual sex whatever is keeping you like actually tethered to your masculine is literally when you remove it it changes your perspective now i look back on it and it's laughable the whole thing's laughable to me a big old cosmic joke but what I got out of it was probably the most centered and more cl most clear I've ever been in my life. And it also freed me from a lot of codependencies. For some of you guys here, apparently this is a message that's supposed to come through. You're working on releasing codependencies. Being out of that relationship um, healed a lot of things. It doesn't mean I don't have other friendships or I don't have a husband or partners in my life and all that stuff. Of course I do. But now I'm no longer like desperately codependent with them and I was if I must tell the truth on myself and that meant that I couldn't do this work because if I was codependent on somebody else's energy and what they thought and how they felt and if they were being reckless and what mind games they were playing I couldn't be a clear channel for you so that's part of your work too is to realize that you are much better sometimes in separation than you are ever together with that person that doesn't mean you don't get another partnership I will say that again I hear some of you guys worrying about that but I will tell you your work continues all right guys that is the message do your work find your work get rooted and anchored in your work know that it does not stop because a person is removed from your life if anything I think you will find like my client will find here shortly that it intensifies and you are only more determined to make your splash, your foray, your entry, entrance into the world with your work spiritually. All right, guys, come back and join me next time and we will continue to evolve together.